and 11 percent respectively. The company sold 286,307 tons of plastic goods and achieved net product turnover of Rs. 4,614 crore during the first half of the current year against sale of 220,725 tons and net product turnover of Rs. 4,216 crore in the corresponding half year of previous year, achieving volume and product value growth of about 30% and 9% respectively. The consolidated operating profit and profit after tax for the second quarter of the current year amounted to Rs. 380 crore and Rs. 243 crore as compared to Rs. 166 crore and Rs. 82 crore respectively for the corresponding quarter of the previous year, recording increase of 129% and 196% respectively. The consolidated operating profit and profit after tax for the half year of the current year amounted to Rs. 723 crore and Rs. 459 crore as compared to Rs. 493 crore and Rs. 296 crore respectively for the corresponding period of the previous year, recording increase of 47% and 55% respectively. The business scenario of all the product segments of the company for the second quarter and the 30th September 2023 as compared to corresponding quarter of previous year has been held under. Plastic piping system business grew 30% in volume and 17% in value term. Packaging product segment business grew 12% in volume and 7% in value term. Industrial product segment business grew 4% in volume and degrew by 3% in value term. Annual product segment business remains at same level in volume and degrew by 6% in value term. The overall turnover of value-added product increased to Rs. 942 crore during the second quarter of current year as compared to Rs. 798 crore in the corresponding quarter of the previous year, achieving growth of 18%. The company has a total cash surplus of Rs. 583 crore as on 30th September 2023 as against cash surplus of Rs. 738 crore as on 31st March 2023. Business Outlook Polymer prices remained range bound during the quarter but witnessed a sharp downward trend during the first fortnight of October affecting business sentiments. Now the prices have started stabilizing and business activity has started picking up. The company acquired the five manufacturing units of Messrs. Parvati Agro Plus Limited, uh, situated in Sangri, Maharashtra, on a going concern basis, which is fixed from 17 October 2023, and its aggregate consideration of between 151.38 crore. This unit a total installed capacity of 36,000 ton per annum, comprising of 15,000 ton of PVC pipe, 18,000 ton of LTP pipe, and 3,000 ton of oriented PVC pipe and spread over 13.48 acres of land. Oriented UC pipe has good market potential and the company is working to expand oriented UC capacity to 15,000 per annum at Sangli. The company has also signed an agreement to purchase adjoining land and measuring 7.76 acres from the family, which would enable the company to expand its operation at the same site. Various capacity expansion program of piping division are progressing smoothly. Construction work is a full swing at all the sites, namely Kanpur, Jihad, UP, Hero in Tamil Nadu, and Malampur in Madhya Pradesh. Orders for equipment have been placed, and increased capacity will be in operation during fourth quarter of the current year, one after the other. Construction work for expansion in Gadiga, Maharashtra is completed and arrival of production equipment is started. The newly launched 
polythylene aluminium polythylene piping system and electrical conduct system as issued in increasing response expanded capacity of bath fitting along with environment friendly surface coating process for enhanced durability and better aesthetic at particularly in food place and fully operational the complete plan to put up a manufacturing facility to make pvc window and door is taking shape and effective education will save on the start by end of november 2023 we expect to take about 12 months to commence production trial the company continues to commit to new investment to increase the range of value added products and enlarging the product basket in its piping business with completion of all the expansion plan undertaken install capacity of piping system division so lead to 780000 ton per annum by end of fiscal year 2024 from 600000 ton as on 31st march 2023 the company is strategy to focus more on metal product and cross dimensional film division is yielding positive result Overall, relations have also improved, and company has been able to handle the spurious competition effectively. Work on the plan to set up 2,500 ton per annum plant to manufacture newly developed post-plastic film in producing grain. The company expects to launch the same during the fourth quarter of the current year. The company has introduced new variant in its cabinet range in small bits auditor segment and received a good response from the market. The division is continuously adding showroom to improve awareness of its range of premium product. Total strength of such showroom has reached 283 by end of September 2023 from 244 showroom as of 31st March 2023. The industrial component division has witnessed decrease in demand during the quarter. Although auto safety is doing good, but with more dependency on appliances and white goods, overall market scenario doesn't look to be so encouraging. Company expect better prospect with impending festive season. The fisheries and fruit and vegetable sector in the material handling division are seeing good demand. and expected to grow in double digit in volume for the year there is good demand from the soft drink industry for ensuing summer season sales of newly introduced dust bin are increasing and the division should continue its momentum of growth both in volume and value turn for composite lpg cylinder a execution of all orders issued from indian oil corporation is taking place and shall be completed during the year There are no new orders from domestic oil marketing companies. There are serious inquiries from overseas, and once successfully converted, would yield better capacity utilization of the plant after recent expansion. The productive packaging division has enhanced its capacity utilization, and the strategy to work more on fabricated products has improved profitability. The division has acquired prestigious orders. and customer and working on expanding certain capacity to meet the customized demand but the division has also made inroads in the export market and extended its distribution network for the same the performance packaging division continues to utilize its capacity optimally and work on post extrusion value added product the division is also exploring further export opportunities for input profitability with increased business opportunities capex plan of the company is also increasing total commitment including carry forward commitment of previous year may reach to around between 900 crore excluding the amount committed for acquisition of business of parvati agroplast however total cash flow cash outflow is not likely to exceed between 800 crore and the same should be entirely funded from internal approval This is a brief and overall summary for the quarter and the year ended under reference. Thank you for your patience. Now I and my colleagues, Mr. Pichu Somani and Mr. Ajay Sahu, are available to reply to various queries raised by all of you. Thank you very much.
Thank you so much, sir. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Venkatesh from Access Capital. Please go ahead, sir. Yeah, uh, congratulations for a good set of numbers. My first question is, uh, what is your, uh, you had given a certain guidance for the full year earlier, you know, pipes growth of 23 to 25% and uh, overall growth of 20% plus. Have, are you making any changes to your guidance for the full year uh, in terms of volume growth for plastics and, and just plastic piping and also the margins? So that would be the first question. Uh, my my overall guidance I improved now to overall volume growth of the company is going to be 23 percent, and for plastic piping it is going to be over around 28 percent. 28 percent. And what about margin? Overall margin guidance for the full year is around 14.5 percent. Okay. Okay. Now, are you expecting some kind of a slowdown in the fourth quarter because election season kicks in, or it doesn't matter that you know the government would have already given most of the orders before the election season kicks in, and actually we might have a slowdown in the first half of next year. We are not in government business much. Okay, okay. Election so, is already going to happen in this quarter only. Okay, okay. In January, but there is no election. Okay. Now, and also, uh, how would you look at next year? Because uh, we are what we have grown 29% volumes in FI23. You are expecting 23% volume growth in the current year, FI24. Is it like something we need to keep in mind while we are making our estimates for FI25 uh, because you are coming off an extremely high base, or you think you can still continue growing at uh, maybe 15% for FI25? This year's super growth is going to be because of the poor base of last year. Okay. Now, this year is normal uh, year, so we anticipate growth will be around 12% next year. Okay. But okay. But growth will forecast next year growth will talk only properly in April 2024. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. All the very best. Thank you so much. The next question is from the line of Rahul Agrawal from Inquit Capital. Please go ahead, sir. Yeah, good evening. Thank you for the opportunity and congratulations on a good uh, quarter. Sir, Thank first you. question on the Maharashtra state government contract. How much of that is already supplied out of the 480 crores? We are continuing supplying. There's no issue. We are supplying. supplying supplied to complete in 31 time. So it is not 12 months ago. So it continue to remain in, uh, we continue to supply air per day order issue and they are very committed and the books are going smoothly. Should I assume 150 crores worth of material is supplied? I don't recall correctly. What do you might have I don't remember correctly. You only can see the order is going very smoothly and they the place to man that gave a red contract, they said it would take between 24 to 30 months. Got it, sir. Second question on packaging uh, division. Uh, you mentioned on your TV interview that you've got new export orders and hence the margins are higher. Uh, could you elaborate, sir, uh, you know, in which division within packaging, you know, across protective performance or laminated films, which is doing better and, and what are these export orders, please? The package is usually a three segment cross laminated film, protective packaging product, and performance packaging film. In all the three segments, our whole aim is to go on boosting export of all the product. And fortunately, all the products have got good acceptance, and we are increasing our export month after month in all the three segments. When the year will be out, in April, we will tell you absolutely how much exports have gone up in the current year and how many new customers we added in the segment. We are putting more resources to boost export business of this segment. 
sir this 30 rupees a kg of ebit uh, for the segment is this sustainable going forward there is no big reason no uh, no negative reason okay sir and one question was on the uh, appliances and white goods uh, you said the quarter is you know the demand has been slow uh, i just wanted to know consumer durables you know how much do they account in terms of revenue for industrial sales and what is the outlook for second half see out of our industrial division about 60% revenue come from the industrial component in you know, about 70% so overall look from the industrial segment if you look at close to 40% revenue come from the appliance sector got it sir and any outlook like who are your major customers and what is really wrong with this in the first half no, there is nothing wrong the demand is slow of consumer appliances they are seeing a supreme petrochem also we be supplied polish and raw material the demand is going slow now we anticipate now festive season is coming very shortly demand may revive maybe in the month of november to do may season is there also so we hope for the best got it sir and last question sir you said there is a big export inquiry for cylinder uh, could you uh, help us understand because you also said that the capacity utilization could be better than what it is and my understanding is that capacity is 1 million so you know which geography and which customer are we talking about when the order comes then only we can share Yeah, new shooting on. Okay, sir, got it. I'll come back in the queue. All the best, sir. Thank you so much for answering my questions. Thank you so much. The next question is from the line of Chandrakant Danukar from CD Equi Research. Please go ahead. Thank you for taking my question. So, sir, how easy is business scalability for you all? Given that you are in several product segments and have several of products in that segments, so I wanted to know how is the business scalability for you? Like, how are you looking? Like, it is. No scalability in some of products. Sir, because you understand, ultimately, we are all in into plastic products only. So, raw material procurement, everything is. similar and we have multiple product complexes nowadays so as such scalability is not an issue only certain products where we need to put up the capacity near to the customer particularly for industrial component that is only we require a specific dedicated facility otherwise within the present production environment only we can scale up the production facility wherever required Okay. So, don't you think like these businesses can be spun off as separate companies so that company could draw focused investors? No, which are business we are doing? We are focused on their business. Okay. There are, so, like there are separate resources. Look after each segment, and they even fully focus on that segment which they look after. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you for taking my questions. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. In order to ensure that the management will be able to address the questions from all participants in the conference call, please limit your questions to two per participant. Should you have a follow-up question, please rejoin the queue. The next question is from the line of Rajesh Ravi from HDFC Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi sir. Congrats on good set of numbers. Uh, my first question pertains to could you talk a little on how has been the CPVC volume growth in in this quarter? The no, CPVC volume has degrowth overall in first six months, uh, first five months. Last month there was growth of three percent. So overall in six months we had a growth of one point two five percent. And what is the reason for this uh, decline uh, given that the PVC volume is seeing strong traction? I think our main principal reason must be that now PVC prices have come down dramatically. Okay. PVC prices were quite high, so instead of PVC, people start using CPVC. What okay. number we are seeing in the country itself? The first six months, CPVC might have a growth between 14 to 15 percent volume growth okay. in the country. For the industry, okay. 
And sir, what is the outlook for the second half? Sorry? Yeah, so you're mentioning the industry would have seen a 15% decline in the CPVC in first half, right? See, PVC, because of PVC price has come down dramatically, so wherever people were using CPVC or PVC, now PVC price has come down, so people don't use CPVC. CPVC is expensive than PVC. Correct. CPVC is mainly one application, that is plumbing. Yes. And so what is the outlook for second half on CPVC? Second half, the real estate industry is doing well, and CPVC prices also come down. So we see that now the second half there should be growth. Okay. And uh, in terms of margin outlook for fully at 14.5%, uh, in fact, do you see any inventory uh, loss risk in Q3? Uh, you know, uh, given that uh, we have uh, seen the PVC prices uh, pulling off 7 8% in the first fortnight? No, it has gone down more than 7 8%. First right. fortnight prices have gone down by 12%. Okay, so any inventory loss there? Yeah, it's part of business cycle. So some inventory loss may be there. And mm -hmm. it's money rising also, so then we may recover also. So today we may see some small loss will be there due to inventory. Mm -hmm. That's why we see in first half we have around 14.79% and for the full year we are forecasting around 14.5%. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's all from my side. We'll come back in here. Thank you. Thank you so much. The next question is from the line of Chira Lodia from ValidQuest. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, sir, I have two questions. Uh, first question was on uh, what is driving the strong demand in PVC pipe? Uh, is there any specific segment which is where you are seeing very hyper growth? No, we don't deal only in PVC. We see our growth in plastic pipe, not PVC. Right. So in plastic pipe, is there any particular segment where we are seeing hyper growth? Can I reply, sir? So that, that we are seeing big growth in our polythene pipe business. So we had earlier low base of polythene pipe. We put up more capacity seen in nurse gel scheme. So we are preferred supplier for nurse gel because we make very high quality product. So good order for polythene pipe. There is a huge polythene pipe. And we are large supplier of polythene pipe for natural scheme. Okay. And uh, is the profitability similar uh, versus PVC there or there is a big difference? Overall profitability you have seen already. Now, if you come in, maybe around, what do you say, 14 and a half or 14 and a quarter. Overall, yeah. piping, piping is with a low margin business. But the, the supply system, in system there are fabricated fitting, there are solvent, there are molded switching, there are roto molded items, so many items. We are, our, today we have more than 12,000 SKU in plastic piping system. So, pipe is one small segment of the 12,000 system. That's our SKU. Got it. Got it. And so, just lastly, on your guidance, uh, just wanted one clarification. So, H2, you know, uh, whatever guidance you are given for full year, on basis that there is an 18% volume growth expected in H2. And uh, if I just look at realization, which should be lower compared to say H1 uh, or say equal to H1, then our top line would be like 10-11% growth in second half. So full year will still look at 10%. You are guiding for 15% uh, top line growth. So okay. to understand. Okay. So, yeah, so 10,500 implies 15%. We are adding many value-added items also. Okay. We are now comfortable to track only the volume growth because value growth is very risky to track because value growth is dependent on the raw material price. Got it. Got it. And can't forecast raw material price for next six months. Not possible. Got it. Thank you, Anand. Thank you so much. The next question is from the line of Sneha Talreja from Nuwama. Please go ahead. Congratulations and great set of numbers, sir. Just two questions from mine. Uh, firstly, uh, when you you know revised your guidance, does that include Parvati Agro or that does not include both for this year as well as next year? 
महाराष्ट्रीय but how much of the proportion does it fall i think last quarter you said somewhere about 10% and where do you see this portion going oh this is a policy by business is going much more than 10% and uh, i don't know as your percentage of revenues as percentage of revenues no 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 not to me i can't reply what percentage of revenues these are basically polythene pipes we are supplying so polythene pipe and we are supplying to various governments but also some contractors only maharashtra only we are supplying direct to government otherwise we don't supply direct to government understood sir we just wanted to understand what percentage of revenues does it form today and where do you see this going uh, ahead like maybe 2 to 3 years down the line what proportion can it become and what's the visibility here till what can you know till what time can these orders continue for us maybe out of 7000 crore turn over piping system maybe 7 8% maybe uh, this is a pollution pipe business maybe 8% and what's the visibility and till what period can this uh, you know orders continue from since there i think the uh, nature gel scheme should be over by end of 2024 then we are now going we are working on the gas piping system so that will continue so once we stop using for water then it will go for gas with similar visibility even there like the numbers that today 78% even gas can make up 78% We hope so. We know we do business in our company, and this should continue. Understood, sir. That was helpful. Thanks, thanks a lot, sir. Thank you so much. And all the best. The next question is from the line of Udit Gajwal Gajwala from Yes Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, hi, sir. Congratulations on a great set of numbers. So, firstly, can you highlight uh, what is the dealer channel inventory right now? Are we seeing restocking happening again since the prices have come down sharply? Well, now restocking started uh, in second half of this month only. Okay, sir. So, uh, is there any element that in Q2 the numbers uh, could have been better, but there was some element of restocking, like what your peers have highlighted? I don't think so. Now, this is not possible to. So we are not taking the stock inventory of our converters, of our distributors. We have no clear idea. Understood, understood. Sir. And so, largely, what will be our uh, plumbing mix, and what will be the agri mix for the quarter? It's so complicated always because people are using agri pipe for plumbing also. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. The next question is from the line of Rehan from Equitree Capital. Please go ahead, sir. Hi, sir. Thank you for taking my question. Um, I just wanted to understand more on the cylinder business, the composite cylinders. So, what kind of growth are you expecting in it going forward, and how do you see the demand picking up for the same? Thank you, sir. Yeah. No, composite cylinders, as we mentioned in the call, also. Right now we are executing the orders what we have received last year from the Indian Oil Corporation. Correct. As of now, there is no further visibility from any of the oil marketing companies for any further orders. Okay. So And what we have expanded our capacity is remaining underutilized. Mm-hmm. So we are working with the oil marketing companies also, as well as we are also working on the export market inquiries. 
Okay. Something get certified, then only we'll be able to sell you in a better place. And what percentage of your industrial products does this make up? Pardon? What percentage of your industrial products does the composite cylinders make up of? Like how much percentage of industrial product revenue? It's hardly less than 10%. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The next question is from the line of Ritesh Shah from Investec. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, sir. Congratulations for a good set of numbers. So, sir, a couple of questions. First is, uh, sir, working capital has increased on 12-month and 6-month basis. Uh, can you please explain for all the three variables, inventory, reservables, and payables, please? Now, inventory has increased. There is no decline in the inventories. If you look at from March 23th, our inventories are higher. Our receivables are also higher in absolute numbers. And payables have come down. Correct. Uh, so, so, any specific reason for the inventory and receivable days to increase? So, receivable days have not increased by one day. It was 16 days, now it is 17 days. It has moved from 17 to 20, if I look at it from September 22 to September 23. You are looking at September. I am looking from March point of view. Correct. So, of course, so, so has increased to, and because there is a government business involved, where we are giving 30 to 45 days credit for the Maharashtra government order. Okay. So otherwise, otherwise normal trade inventory or trade receivables are in the similar line. Okay. Payables have reduced uh, because our export volume have export import volume have decreased since the prices were falling. And we are buying mostly domestic purchases against advanced payment only. Sure, this is helpful. Uh, sir, my second question is, was there an uh, element of inventory gains during the quarter? If you could please quantify that across polymers. No, no, no inventory gain. My price were falling. How can there be inventory gain? Okay. Uh, so, was there any inventory loss? Any any material number on either side? No. Yeah, some inventory loss may happen in the third quarter. We don't know today. In the second quarter, it was neither. Neither gain nor a loss kind of situation. Okay, this is helpful. And sir, last question for Taparia, sir. Uh, sir, you indicated on gas piping systems. Uh, can you please uh, detail what the product is like, what is the scope it actually offers us? Thank you so much. No, uh, no we, our, uh, we made the pipe and given for approval by the government authorities. We anticipate that we may get the clearance within two, three months. Once we get all the clearance, then we will come back to you. But business we are aiming to make for gas. We anticipate good demand to come for gas demand, gas application also. Sure. And sir, lastly, would you like to comment on the toys business? So if there is a PLI, we have exposure over here, we can be a beneficiary. Uh, so how are we looking at the toys segment? No, no. We are not in toy business. We are not into real toy business. So something we are doing only from the base of foam, where we are manufacturing policies in foam. So we are making some kids puzzles, yoga mat kind of things. Not really into the yeah. toy business. We are talking toy business. No, please. Oh, sorry. Perfect, sir. This is very useful, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. The next question is from the line of Mr. Anchal Lohade from JM Financial. Please go ahead. Uh, good evening, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Sir, is it possible for you to uh, kind of uh, give us some sense uh, for first half, how much is the uh, PVC consumption for India uh, and uh, uh, for us, for Supreme? Oh, India, I can say, India has a growth of maybe 20% in PVC consumption in India I don't get the number, so India is a If we count the consumption based on the 18%. First quarter, the was 9.57%, second quarter, 28%. So overall, it is won by 19%. First half. 
PVC. And this is for India PVC consumption, right? Yeah, yeah. India PVC share, where seventy five percent will go into piping. Okay. Seventy five percent goes to non piping. Understand. Is it checking the what your imports are taking are taking place and domestic sale? Is always considered as a consumption. Correct, yes. correct, correct. Would you, uh, and for us, it would be higher than that, right? I mean, we would have definitely gained market share in the PVC. We would have gone that much more than that. Right. Um, I the second the number, number, number 1.628 million was the last year, first half. Okay. 1.628 million, first half last year. And this year, 1.926 million PVC. So again, 1.9 against 1.628 million this year consumption shown by maker of PVC in India to 1.926. So how much? 18 percent. Got it. Uh, so second question I had was with respect to our capacity. Uh, can you help us with the total plastic piping capacity as of 30th of September? And is it possible to get a broad sense as to how much is in um, north, west, south, and east? No, if we are available, we can supply to anywhere in the country. We are not restricting to that, they will not supply. Presently, no, no, sir. The uh, demand, we are supplying goods from more parts of Eastern India. Correct, correct. No, I get that. I'm just uh, trying to understand the spread of the. Of the uh, uh, company uh, in terms possible. of the presence uh, so of the capacity. Not possible. Not possible. Not possible. Okay. Okay. And just one more question. Uh, uh, you know, in terms of the growth, is it fair to say that the growth was substantially in the in the southern pocket, or um, you know, or north, or anything of that sort for the second quarter? We are we are all India players. I'm sure, sir. I'm I'm just checking in terms of the growth for second quarter for plastic piping. Was that uh, particularly driven by any particular geography? The growth was throughout the country. Throughout the country. Got it, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next question is from Venkatesh from Access Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, can you share what was the inventory loss uh, which you had in the first half of the year? I think after the first quarter, you had said first quarter inventory loss was around 40 crores. That's all. That's all. We didn't say second quarter, there's no inventory loss, no inventory gain. Okay, there's no inventory loss or inventory gain. But you, and what is your outlook on PVC prices? We have largely bottomed out and it should rebound from here or? There is a difference in opinion in terms of how uh, demand supply dynamics are in the Asia Pacific region. We share price are stabilized, but, but having said that, I can only say commodity prices never stabilize. Okay. They may come okay. down by 20 rupees kilo, they may go up by 20 rupees kilo, they may go down by 5 rupees kilo, they may go up by 5 rupees kilo. Commodity prices never stimulate that this level will be maintained up to March. No, it is not going to happen. Okay, okay. Just one more thing. Uh, uh, usually, earlier you used to put out an annual presentation where we used to give out the uh, annual size of the market in each of the sub-segments. But I think you have stopped doing that over the last couple of years. Any particular reason for that? No, no, precise data are not available. You see, we, we try to get from the manufacturers of the polymers. We will try this year after this FI24 if we can get some precise data. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. All the best. Thank you so much. The next question is from Bahin Rupani from Investec. Please go ahead. Hello, Mr. Rupani, are you there? Hello, am I speaking with Mr. Bhavan Rupani? Can you hear me, please? This is the operator, sir. Unfortunately, we cannot hear you, so I will be disconnecting if you can hear me. If you do wish to join, please rejoin the queue. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Shubham Agrawal from Access Capital. Please go ahead, sir. 
I congratulate the good kind of numbers, sir, and thanks for the opportunity. Uh, uh, my just my question is just on on Nalse Jal. You mentioned that in Q1 we've done about 12,000 tons from this. Dear dear friend, can you try loud? You see, pitch. Hello. Hello. Am I audible now? Am I audible now? Now, now audible. Yeah, pitch. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity and congrats on the great set of numbers. Uh, I just wanted to ask you on the Nalse Jal scheme. You said in Q1 you did about 12,000 tons from this scheme. Uh, and you believe and we believe that uh, the whole order is expected to conclude by fy24 can you give a number like what how much uh, volume are we expected to supply to nalse jal in the whole of fy24 uh, that's one what what is the origin pipe supply for the no, uh, i i think mean, nalse jal is both hdp and pp right is that correct and the yes. volume that you will supply to these Oh, okay. Nalse Jal mostly in uh, uh, our uh, pollution pipe. Okay, sir. So what is the volume from Nalse Jal for FY24? No, we supply various segments. You see, again, apart from Nalse Jal, we supply in trade market also. So we cannot say precisely how much going for Nalse Jal. We have a large supplier of pollution pipe, making it great location in the country. Okay. Then you said that in FY25 the vol this volume that will go out of the. Because for sprinkler it goes for null stage jal. We supply for various systems. Okay, so it's not uh, right to quantify that. Okay, this probably uh, for the whole year we'll supply let's say forty thousand tons to null stage. Then we can't really say that, right? That's yeah, not the right. I will tell you how much we might be supplying. But it's just a replication. We we don't know correctly. <laughs> Okay, okay, sir. Okay, so just uh, you said that this null of null cell order will get completed in FY twenty four. Can you please reiterate for my benefit that uh, what were you expecting? What will uh, you know take? What uh, government orders are expected in FY twenty five, which will help recoup this lost volume of well? Sorry. Sorry, you mentioned that null cell spend will be over by twenty four. The government made an announcement. They want to do it by two by twenty two thousand twenty four. They didn't say FY twenty four. They said we want to do nursery jelly scheme by 2024. Now okay. there may be some spill over. It may not be completed by 2024. Maybe make make go to 2025 also. That's part only. So we government department uh, states are there. I, I we have no idea clearly. Presently the demand is proper. That only we know. Okay, so, so and just my last thing, can you is it possible to give a broad split of uh, revenue from PVC, HDP, PVC, uh, and PE pipes separately? Is it possible? Not possible. It can't be. Okay. okay, thank you. So that was all from me. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Just a reminder: if you wish to ask a question, please press star and one on a touchstone telephone. The next question is from the line of Abhishek from DSP. Please go ahead, sir. Yeah, hi sir. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, sir, just wanted to uh, confirm your current capacity will be something like uh, 8.5 lakh tons, uh, uh, including Parvati. Of uh, uh, company or try piping? Sir, overall company. Company, maybe close to 900,000 tons. Okay, and this will move to almost like a, a million by end of next year. Would that be a fair assumption, sir? One one million ton by end of uh, March 24. One million by March 2024. Got that, sir. And sir, the other thing is, you know, what we see is in the current quarter, your proportion of value added has moved up significantly to almost about 41, 42 percent. That is largely because of uh, packaging segment doing well. Would that be the major mover there? Partly, partly because the packaging segment are doing quite well now. Partly. Sorry, sir. Yes, because of uh, made by furniture division, by packaging division. By plastic, plastic is all the real contributors. Okay, okay, okay. And sir, your packaging segment has seen very healthy improvement in margins. You spoke about the export opportunity. If you can just help us understand, uh, is it like the distribution model where the uh, packaging segment is gaining traction in export, or is it on the OEM model? If, if some color you can provide as far as the export opportunity of the packaging segment is concerned, sir. We are making variety of products in packaging segment. We will now be customer based throughout the world. Okay. We are making the product aimed to the requirement of customer, customized product. Okay. 
and we are getting better, better margin on the customized product. It is not any of our proprietary product. Got it. Got it. So, is it fair to assume, sir, that the competitive scenario or landscape in packaging in domestic market is stable? It is the export market which is driving the incremental margin. Is, is that the way to look at the business? Domestic market also, especially like item, we are getting proper price. Okay. So there is improvement at both. You are saying domestic plus exports. Okay. Got that. And so, just a couple of other things. Uh, you know the. Uh, through Parvati, you have also acquired this OPVC. Uh, would you be able to help us understand the applications of OPC, OPVC pipes? Where does it get used and the overall opportunity size? OPVC is supplementing ductile island pipe. Okay, ductile so. Pipe is principally used to carry the drinking water. And correct. Pipe market is 3 million ton. Correct. Okay. And OPVC is completely economical compared to ductile iron pipe. Capacity in India is very small. So market is growing and we will supplement ductile iron pipe to this. Okay, so you will need to get your OPVC pipes approved by the government. Is that a process that you will have to go through? They are already approved, approved by the government. Okay. Okay, so you will keep on adding capacity based on how, whatever demand you get on the DI replacement part of it. That's the way to look at it. You are right. Okay, okay, okay. So just one last question on uh, the PVC window uh, profile business that you have started and you're likely to commence operations in, in, in about a year's time. Uh, the distribution, will that be different, right? Uh, will The distribution of that business will be different from the current distribution that you have for the piping system. And we are ready, we will give all details. Got it, sir. Got it. Okay, sir. Thank you so much for answering my questions and wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The next question is from the line of Sakit Kapoor from Kapoor Co. Please go ahead. Yeah. Namaskar, sir. And uh, thank you for this opportunity. Sir, just joining to the last answer which you gave for uh, OPVC as a supplement to ductile RN5. So the the, uh, the ductile iron pipes uh, uh, diameter ranges uh, in, a, in a, with a with a long range. So how are these OPVC aligned to them? Uh, mean, any last mile connectivity that will happen to OPVC or they how will they work uh, uh, with ductile iron pipes? Oh, we can connect OPVC to ductile iron pipe. There is no problem. You can use the IC joint, there is no issue about it. And our parity is able to make only up to 400 millimeters diameter. The oh, uh, iron pipe is made up to 1.2 meter diameter. So some portion of the iron pipe will be supplemented by OPVC. OPVC people are now trying to build a pipe up to. Our company will be producing up to 400 millimeter only. And sir, how is the cost component uh, uh, being uh, advantages advantages for OPVC? What is economical compared to GI pipe? Uh, okay, but they will always act as a supplement. They cannot be as act as a replacement to the ductile and that is what you are saying, or is it very nascent stage as of now? I did not say replacement. I said supplementing. Yes, sir. yes, sir. you did say that supplement. That is my reason. Why would when I, uh, only for the cost efficiency part is the one reason that OPVC will act as a supplement, or uh, 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 what could be the other reason, sir? I, I say the GI pipe large requirement is 1.2 meter. 1.2 meter is everyone today not producing in India. India producing mostly 400 millimeter. Some plants have come from 630 millimeter also. So the market GI pipe is more in the larger diameter. Okay, so there, 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 OPVC will come into play. OPVC, our smart chip, our three thousand is very smart chip. Okay, and sir, post our this expansion, uh, what is our current sir, value added product as a percentage of sales, and uh, what should be the percentage going ahead for say uh, one or two years down the line? Our uh, current, you know, thirty six and a half percent. Which is hovering between 36 to 39 percent. It all depends. Which is with dynamic definition. 
the product which can get 17% plus EBITDA margin only mm-hmm. classified for this basket. So something goes out, something comes in. Our focus remains to replace the new products continuously. Somewhere 37 to 39%, 40%, this is the range in which we are operating. Okay, so for the value added as a percentage of sales. Sir, so now last point to the raw material uh, basket, sir. We are expanding capacity. Even other players are there. Uh, how do you, what, what, how are the raw material uh, being aligned in terms of the capacities? And I think so. If they are the PVC resins only, the key raw material, or what constitutes the major part of our raw material basket? We, we are we are very comfortably supplied by all our raw material suppliers, domestic and uh, international. So we are no issue of raw material. Okay, and so what portion do we source from uh, the domestic and uh, how much is sourced internationally? Maybe, maybe around 40 to 45 percent domestic and balance is imports. Balance is in, imports. I think there's, there's, there's new capacities have been envisaged for the PVC segment, so that that will uh, uh, that will be more uh, uh, that is the thing uh, more for the companies like us going ahead. So, uh, some large capacities for PVC have been planned uh, earlier also. Okay, it's a big, I don't know. But yeah. I can tell you that Reliance has announced and Reliance is implementing a very big expansion of PVC. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for all the elaborate answers, sir, and all, and all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to ensure that the management will be able to address your questions from all the participants at this conference, please limit your questions to one per participant. Should you have a follow-up question, please rejoin the queue. The next question is from the line of Navid Virani from Bastion Research. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, sir. Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible, please. Okay, so thank, uh, thank you for the opportunity. So my question is uh, regarding the overall exports. Really? Give us, okay. Regarding the overall export sales, so let's say if we see three to five years down the line, can you give us what kind of opportunity size are we, you know, looking at in each segment in terms of exports? Well, we, you see, now we are working also very strongly how to push exports. So as of today, our exports are less than 3% of our turnover. So, so do we see export opportunity in each, each of the segments? More, more to boost export, as on today, as I told you, we are having less than 3% of turnover. But with so many exhibitions now, we are participating in the international market. And with a great trust and more resources we are providing to boost exports, we hope that our exports will go on rising. Yeah, so let's say three to five years down the line, do we see our exports? Going to you know 10 10 odd percent of our sales. I can't get any percentage. I can only say company focus remains to go on increasing export and company okay. free resources to do that. Thank you. Thank you for the answer. All the best. Thank, Thank you. you so much. The next question is from the line of Ritesh Shah. Please go ahead. Hi, sir. Uh, two questions. Uh, sir, first is historically uh, we have never... Sorry to interrupt you, sir. Uh, due to time constraints, can you please ask just one? Okay, sir. Uh, sir, historically we have always uh, uh, we have always grew by organic growth, uh, but it is for the first time what we are hearing is uh, Parvati, uh, Parvati equation. Uh, sir, what is the change in thought process? Uh, why are we doing this now? Uh, why have we not done it before? How should you understand this? We wanted to go into all PVC line. Okay, so incrementally for new products, we will be open to inorganic growth. Uh, is that how one should read into it? We are, we are open to even the uh, existing product also inorganic growth. We, we have never closed our mind. Okay. That helps. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, Thank you so much. The next question is from the line of Rahul Agrawal from Incred Capital. Please go ahead. Sir, thank you for the follow-up. Uh, the question was, the Parvati acquisition, the net cost, final cost is about 150 crores. This is 20 crores lower than what we announced in August. Uh, why is the difference? No, Rahul, 20 crore we have to use for the adjoining line. So Parvati is one part of the 
industry. What we announced was the combined consideration of the aging land also. Got it. Amount of time, same dear friend. Got it, sir. Thank you so much. All the best. Thank you so much. The next question is from the line of Keshav Lahoti from HCFC Securities. Please go ahead. Hello. Thank you for the opportunity. Am I audible? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, audible, please. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. I just want to understand, we have guided a uh, beta margin of 14.5%. Actually, we have already done 14.5% in spite of inventory loss. And normally, HT is more stronger. So, is it uh, more like a conservative guidance or you are factoring some inventory loss in your guidance? You see, as I told you in October, first half only, the PC price has gone down by 13%. So going forward, you can't forecast your past trend. And with the world economy in such a uh, robust shape, we don't know what all can take place. So better to be conservative. So keeping inventory losses aside, uh, 16% would be the right margin to look in next week? Okay. Yeah, 14 up to 50%. Without inventory losses kind of thing, you can say 14 up to 15%. It all depends on the product mix. Okay, okay. Understood. One last question from my side. The uh, 1 million ton capacity which will be by the end of this year. Exactly. Any big uh, segmental paper? Uh, 780,000 ton will be plastic pipe. Okay, and... In plastic pipe only, as you as recall that we say that we will increase capacity by 200,000 ton this year. Out of 200,000 ton, 180,000 ton in is plastic pipe. The remaining 20,000 ton is spread over so many segments. Understood. Understood. Okay. That's it. Thank you so much. As there are no further questions, I would like to hand the conference over to the management for the closing comments. Over to you, sirs. Thank you very much for very analytical question. We were enriched by the various questions raised by our partners. We thank all of them. For the same. Now my colleagues, if some money will reply. Yeah, please. And thank you, then, Capital, for organizing this conference. And thank you to all the participants. And thank you very much. Thank you, Asim, for the conference. And uh, thanks to all the participants. Thank you. Thank you so much, sirs. Uh, on behalf of uh, DAM Capital Advisors Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us, and you may disconnect your lines.